Hi, in this video I'll talk about channel calibration. Calibration is required because various parts of the power supply channel added some error when we set output value and when we read internally output value and that value uh, is not necessarily the same as something what we can read on some external instrument. For one example, if we have on uncalibrated channel output set to 12 volts, we can see that measured values it's not the same, it's 11.77 and on connected external voltmeter we can read 11.8. If calibration is successfully completed, all the three values should be equal ideally in a complete range from 0 to up to 40 volts or 0 to 5 amp when you set the current. Let's start with calibration. We need to enter channel settings. Under information we can see here calibrate option and on this channel there is no previous calibration so remark it's not calibrated and down there we have possibility to start calibration wizard which will lead us through the complete process we start with calibration password A default one it's EZPSU First point what we need to measure its minimum voltage which is around 150 millivolts but we can see that on the output we have something else here about 44.9 and we can go with the next point which is set to 90.10 and we will enter what we can read here and finally the maximum point which is about 38 volt here we We'll enter 37.9 and with that voltage calibration it's finished and the output will be set to the maximum. And now we can proceed with current calibration. For current calibration we will need external load. In this case I will use power resistor of 1 ohm and since output voltage will be set about 25 volts for 5 amp we need load which is 5 ohm or less. So let's start with this. So first point it's about 58.2 milliamp second one it's in the somewhere in the middle 2.44 for set 2.42 and finally maximum point set to 4.8 and in our case it's 4.83 and it's finished and we have a maximum current. Now we can add some calibration uh, remark. Let's say new calibration uh, and as a summary we will get screen 
where we can see what's the date, what is remark and calibration parameters which is used for calibration of the channel. Channel is now with enabled calibration parameters and in the next time we can recalibrate because now we have some calibration parameters. In this case when we set voltage to let's say 1 volt we should read here 1 volt here and here 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So all three values should be the same. Also we can check that for the current. and so on. This is all about calibration. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.